Hey guys, Rusty over here, and I'm going to be showing you what I feel is the best and most efficient way to be farming Stygia and also Reputation with Venari in the Maw. Now, the reason why you're probably going to want this Reputation with Venari is pretty simple. Obviously, you want the item that lets you put sockets into gear, and also the Tor Guest upgrades for Twisting Corridors, which comes out soon. So, with all that introduction out of the way, let's actually just get right into the guide. Now, normally, guys, I get right into the main meat of the video. However, in this case, there are a couple things I want to go over because I really feel like they'll help increase your Stygia and reputation that you get in the mall. The first one is going to be downloading two add-ons. These add-ons are Handy Notes and also Handy Notes Shadowlands. Now, what this will do is that in the mall, this will show you the exact spawn location and also how to summon some of them of the rare mobs and also the bonus objective mobs, which of course give reputation in the mall. However, in the video, if you don't want to download the add-on, I will of course leave the map up in the video. Now, the second thing I do want to go over, or at least just really recommend, is basically a more simple one. Buy the Maw upgrades. They are going, as you gain reputation with Venari, she'll unlock items from the vendor that will increase or basically upgrade your ability to resist some of the annoyances in the Maw. For example, the, uh, the Assassins and also the Abductors, if you don't have the upgrades, they will actually increase your Eye of the Jailer. So those are going to be, in my opinion, the two most important ones. But point being, you want to buy ev pretty much every single permanent upgrade from Venari as you unlock reputation with her. And obviously, this does cost Stygia, but trust me, guys, it is worth it in the long run. Now, with that out of the way, let's actually get into what gives Stygia and reputation, as the actual method of farming is obviously completely worthless if you don't actually know what gives Stygia and reputation. Now, let's go over quests first. Obviously, do all the introductory quests, the rule numbers, whatever, right, with Venari. This will gain re more reputation with Venari, as well giving you a foothold in the Maw. And at certain reputation thresholds, you will unlock more rule number quests, which are just basically story quest lines. That do th These are important, though, guys. Do them as soon as they pop up. This will unlock Perdition Hold and also the Beast Warren zones in the Maw, which will get eventually give you access to more quests, meaning more stage and reputation. Now, the other quest that will, of course, give you Stygian Reputation is going to be your daily and weekly quest. The daily quests appear as the blue exclamation points on the map, and the weekly quest, which we set every Tuesday for NA, Wednesday for EU, these will appear as just regular yellow exclamation point quests on Venari. Those will all give you Reputation and Stygia with her. Now, the next source of Stygia and Reputation are going to be certain mobs and events. Now, the first set of mobs that will do this are going to be the bonus objective mobs. Now, on Shadowlands Handy Notes plugin on the map, they will appear as red circles. These are every single spawn location on the add-on. Again, get the add-on. Now, on the mini-map, they will just appear as skulls on there, and also they will basically be like a bonus objective in your quest log, and it will be a little bit weaker than the traditional rares. You're going to want to kill those as much as you can. Those will give you about, I'd say on average, 45 uh, Stygia, and as well as 40 Reputation for every single one of those bonus objective mobs that you kill. Now, the second type of mobs that will give you Reputation in Stygia are going to be your traditional rare spawn mobs now with the add-on they will appear as your blue and white skulls on the map and of course on the mini map they will appear as stars now most of these rares are going to be unsolable in current raid gear with over like 600,000 health i guess maybe a tank could very slowly kill it but generally speaking you're going to need a group of players to kill these rares some of them are solable as they have the same amount of health as the uh, special encounter mobs or the bonus objective mobs most of them though are going to be unsolable so you don't want a group of players to tackle those now, these rares will either give you 80 or 100 reputation, again, depending on the difficulty of the rare. Easier ones giving you less, right? As well as varying amounts of Stygia, once again, depending on the difficulty of the rare. Now, these rares also have a chance to drop a one-time use Maw Lore quest item. Again, just a random chance, one-time use, this will give you reputation either 100 or 150, depending on the quality of the item, of the quest item, reputation with Venari. But again, those are only one-time use. However, I definitely recommend killing rares just specifically to get those one-time use items as it's a good source of bonus reputation. The other event that will give you Stygia, but not reputation, are going to be the Soul Wells or the Stygia Geysers. You're gonna wanna go and do these. These appear as yellow dots on the map if you're using the Handy Note Shadowlands add-on. Go and do these. Again, these will not give you reputation. However, on average, they will give you about 100 Stygia every time you complete these and very, very, very little Eye of the Jailer. So these are definitely a good source of Stygia. Now we have two more things we need to talk about, and that's going to be the Wrath of the Jailer and also the Beast Warren 
hunts. Now, Wrath of the Jailer will appear on the map as crossed swords, and this is going to be a weekly event that you're going to want to do. It's basically just to fill the bar quest or event, and then you kill a final boss mob. There's usually people doing this, but you are going to need a group for the last boss mob. But again, there's usually plenty of people doing this. This will award you 250 reputation with Venari, as well as 100 Stygia, and I guess a chance at a 183 item level piece of gear if you still want that. Now again, this is only weekly, even though it will appear on the map again. You can only get the reputation in Stygia once per week. Now the second event is going to be the Beast Warren Hunt, which you get after unlocking the Beast Warrens. Once you reach ambivalent reputation with Venari, she'll give you the quest to actually unlock the area, and you have access to the Beast Warren Hunt. Now, these are very similar to Wrath of the Jailer, although they're incredibly buggy right now, so have fun doing that if you want to do these, but they are a good source of reputation. Every time you complete one of these, and again, these are bi-weekly, so you could do these twice per week. It resets Friday for NA, I forgot what it is for EU, but point being, they reset bi-weekly, and every time you complete this, you're going to gain 525 reputation with Venari, but they don't give much Stygia, so if you're focused on Stygia, I really recommend not doing these. However, if you still need the reputation, you absolutely gonna want to do these whenever they are available and not bugged. Please fix it, Blizzard. I'm begging you. Now let's actually get into how I've been farming Stygia and Reputation, which I feel is pretty efficient. Now, once you reach five stacks of Eye of the Jailer, once the giant eyeball turns red, you will no longer be able to gain Reputation in Stygia. Now, the way you gain stacks of Eye of the Jailer is basically by killing the bonus objective mobs, rare mobs, looting Stygia, basically all stuff you do in the Maw, also turning in daily and weekly quests. Key phrase being there, turning them in. So here's what you're gonna do. First things first, go and pick up all the weekly quests from Venari, and then go around the map picking up all the daily quests. Now, you're going, what you're going to want to do is complete the quest, or basically do the quest right before completion. You're edging a little bit. Right before completion, okay? So if you have to kill, say, eight mobs, for example, only kill seven out of eight mobs. You're gonna complete those later. And while you're doing these dailies and weekly quests, make sure you are killing the bonus objective mobs and also the rare spawn mobs. Try and prioritize the rare spawns if you can, right? Because they give the most reputation in Stygia, although they are usually the ones that require the groups. Although there are groups in the group finder if you want to go rare hunting in the maw but basically guys what you're going to do complete the bonus objectives of rare mobs until you gain five stacks of eye of the jailer you know you're basically full stacks and you can no longer gain reputation in stygia from rare mobs and the bonus objective mobs however you could still gain reputation in stygia from turning in the quest. So once you gain five stacks, you're gonna go around the map and complete every single daily and weekly quest as much as you can. Now this is where it could get a little bit tricky as once you reach the five stacks of Eye of the Jailer, you'll gain a stacking debuff, which every stack reduces your healing taken, and at 10 stacks, it will start you'll, you'll start taking ticking damage to the point where it'll eventually just kill you and you lose half your stitch, or I think it's like, what, 20% of your stitch? You lose Stygia when you die unless you go back to your body and retrieve it, so obviously we don't want that. So what you're going to want to do, utilize the tools the Maw gives you. Use the Transportation Networks upgrade that you unlock through Reputation, which is why I said at the beginning of the video. Use the Cypher to teleport back to Venari, I'll show you what that is in the video. Use your Hearthstones, your health, your Hearthstones, right? Hearth back to Oribos, you can jump back into the Maw if you want a quick transport back to Venari. Now, if you're still struggling with this, make sure you prioritize the daily quests since those reset daily. And then if you can only get like, finish a couple weeklies, that's fine. They're weeklies. You could go back the next day and then complete the weekly quest, but prioritize turning in and finishing your daily quests since obviously they reset daily. Once you finish as many or turn in as many quests as you can and finish them, go back to Venari, turn in all your quests, and that's a days in the Maw. Now for Wrath of the Jailer and the Maw Hunts, the way you're going to want to do this, it's kind of similar to a daily quest. And when you complete these, you'll gain a full stack of Eye of the Jailer. So what you're going to want to do is, again, kind of similar to a daily quest, except instead of waiting for five stacks of Eye of the Jailer, right before you're about to get that fifth stack, so right when you're about the edge of, you know, basically you're not getting Reputation Stitch anymore, you're going to want to complete Wrath of the Jailer and one of the Maw Hunts. Now again, Wrath of the Jailer is weekly and the Maw Hunts are bi-weekly, so if, even if you just want to do one of those a day that's fine but you're definitely going to want to get those done if reputation is your goal again maw hunts don't really award that much stygia so if you're done with reputation and you only need stygia i wouldn't worry about the maw hunts at all unless you're going for them out for one of them and just focus on wrath of the jailer since that does still give you stygia and that's pretty much it guys but just to give you a quick summary once again remember you're going to want to do your daily and weekly quest just 
do them right until you're about to complete them, but do not finish them off. Do the bonus objective mobs, do the rare mobs until you hit five stacks of eye of the gel. Again, big red eyeball, top of your screen. Once you do that, prioritize completing the daily quest, then complete as many weekly quests as you can before you're about to die. Turn on all the quests, and there you go. Reputation and Stygia. Reminder, weekly quests are weekly. They don't need to be done every single day. Just make sure you do them before reset day, obviously. Wrath of the Jailer, Maw Hunts, again, do it right before you're about to hit the fifth stack of Eye of the Jailer, and that is probably, in my opinion, the most efficient way to farm Stygia and Reputation right now. Although, hey, leave a comment down below if you got any other methods. Now, just a couple other little small things. If Dark Moon Fair is up, do make sure you get your Dark Moon Fair Reputation buff, 10% increased reputation, very nice. And also, you can get Stygia from the Great Vault, right, if you don't want to pick any pieces of the gear, although I don't know what kind of madman would do that, unless, obviously, you have no upgrades. And then, there is a mission table quest, you know, that gives you Soul Ash, but it also gives you a little bit of Stygia, although, I, it's really not that much, so I, I wouldn't really put that as part of a major fun. But that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment down below. As always, I will do my best to answer them. If you liked the video, if it helped you out, hey, throw it a like. Again, if you think you have something else that you want to add, feel free to leave a comment down below. I, I'm always, hey, listen, I'm not perfect. I'm always looking for more tips. Leave a video for suggestion down below for my next video. And subscribe to the channel. And before I go, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, Halo 3 is the best Halo, and that's just a fact. Bye.